a previous episode, we learned that special techniques are used to transform a circle into a sphere, like adding spheres to spheres and subtracting sections from the spheres. These drawing techniques are used to create many things we see every day. Welcome back. Uh, we've been outside taking a little hike around trying to find spheres in nature. And my goodness, is there a lot of spheres in nature. I mean, we've collected uh, in probably five minutes, we collected all of these. And these are just in my yard. And I think you probably recognize a lot of them. A lot of them you really don't want to, to see too much of, like these, you know, where they stick on you and they, you carry them forever. If you look close at them, they're little spheres, though. Uh, and the cone flowers, I mean, just little perfect little spheres with uh, the petals coming out of them. I mean, these are the coolest because these are like 4th of July, the way they explode out and they create little spheres out on the ends and, and the whole thing is in the shape of a sphere. So, I mean, sometimes the details are spheres and the whole exterior is. When you build these little guys, it's little spheres stacked together as uh, to create that kind of shape. So that's the in just a normal flower is kind of spherical. I mean, it fits a sphere better than it fits anything else. And the cone or the uh, pine cone, you know, very spherical. If, if you and with the details in it and stuff, it brings out all of what they are. So um, there, there's just endless numbers of spheres in nature. And uh, I think if you take a little hike and look yourself, you'll find all kinds of things too. Uh, what I'd like to do is take this basic idea and do a drawing of plants that I've been looking at outside and just sort of uh, making it up as I go along. But um, so I'm gonna start with, with a, a sphere and maybe work on this, this one, this idea of, of it ex kind of exploding from inside and creating little spheres out here too. And some of them would be coming out over the front. So, and it could be, you know, uh, a groups of these too. There could be another one that's maybe back behind this one, uh, about like that maybe and exploding also. Uh, lots of dandelions. I mean, we couldn't really find a dandelion right now because the wind is blow blowing them all away, but um, you can see that there's lots of plants that, that come from this. So a little stem might come back in like this and come down and this might tie in with that one. And the way you really know their plants is to come off of it with little leaves, overlap them, get get some, and and maybe in the end you might come back and even erase some of this to get that feeling of that it isn't like a total sphere, but it's in the sphere shape, you know. So getting rid of a few of these lines maybe would help help to do that, but also get get these to come across uh, the front, to have it coming out and over the top. The cone flower is very spherical. I'm gonna set that up over here. It's kind of a, a hemisphere, kind of little pointy guys sticking on it, but it has little flowers that come out around like this. And then the stem comes down off of this and I might do like it's always good to have a, a couple of of these going when you create something um, and little petals popping out this one maybe comes all the way around and this might tie right in with that one and these are little sharp pointed guys as, as you look at the detail of the cone flower let me pull it out here it has those sharp little points on it, but man, does it make a perfect little sphere. So that's, that's, uh, that's 
really kind of fun to play with. And then some plants, uh, you know, like, like this, this one, where it actually grows like a little spheres stacked on spheres coming out. That can give you an, uh, a, a, even to be creative with that, you might shoot them back in here where it's spheres stacked on spheres, getting, getting smaller and smaller like that and coming off of a, a branch here and once again some, some leaves that fit with it and maybe go behind this one and so you can get plants like that and then maybe down below here we even get more leaves going so that um, we, we uh, get, give that something to play with. I'm going to put another one back over behind here that's going away from you and maybe slightly turning and coming back in behind this plant and tying in with that one. Then maybe some of these are actually coming around and bending out at you. So you could start with the end of them and, and then come backwards. So that like the snowman that we've played with in the past here, then maybe some of them are, you're looking down at, some of them you're looking up at. And maybe this kind of ties over here too. So, um, so some, some of this is 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 very good the you know having leaves and plants and stuff showing up all over the place is very good i think sometimes just to uh have oh like a mushroom we should have a couple mushrooms down below here here's a here's a half of a sphere that's going away from you i'm going to make make this one go like this it's it's instead of having a cylinder base to it it's going to be little spheres stacked together and it maybe has some lines running in like this. And maybe it's mounted to a bigger guy there. And then maybe one of them is twisting in reverse so that it, so that it shows up, the bottom of it shows up like this. And then you start stacking your spheres here. And I'm going to start it down here so I can do it easier and go in reverse. and have it join in with that one. And this could have lines that are coming out like this. To, it looks more like a mushroom when it comes like that. So on this, the, and maybe one more in here. Let's see, we could have, well, I'm gonna have this be a rock here. A rock say in here somewhere. So that this, and then some other plants to help make that look like it actually fits there. Some grass growing down in here that comes across. Okay, it makes makes it look like it belongs there a little bit more. A little bit of erasing here and there. And okay, and, and I'm gonna add a few more little so this looks like it's coming around over the top. Some of these little circles, little spheres that create a larger sphere. So that kind of gives you some, some of the types of plants that we have. I mean, uh, even the cockleburs. I don't know if I want to even draw a cockleburr because it, it might stick on me too. But here's, here's the actual plant of the cockleburr right here. And it hasn't developed very far, far enough to where it would stick on you yet. This guy looks like he's attached, but he isn't. But that would be the cockleburr. I, I could draw one of those, say, oh, let's get it over in here in this, in this area. So it comes up like this, and the top of it becomes these little spheres, like that, and has little leaves coming up like this. That, but these are all little cockleburs here. And then another one that branches off down here will make a big leaf because the leaves are something like that. And then the little cockleburs are the little spheres that would show up. But they have little leaves around them too. So there's sometimes leaves that come around them like that. So those will turn into guys that we really don't want to have on our property when we're done. And let me just play just a little bit more here just to make this look like a finished composition. 
maybe some grass in here. A little more grass up here and So something like that, and I mean, you can play with nature. It's just, like I said, is full of spherical things um, that uh, are really fun to go out. I hope you uh, uh, will go out and look for your own plants, get a whole collection of them, see how many spheres you can find, uh, and, and try drawing yourself. Let's see if you can learn from them and actually use them in a creative way, too, that you could ex explore different ways that this basic structure that you learn from certain plants, you could see what else it would create. So stay tuned and thanks for watching this episode.